we move on to another version of the n only optimization problem and then this one we call this is the n system and when we look at the n system that was developed based on the simple end only optimization with these kind of improvement. So the first one that is the transition probability. When we calculate the probability P, I, J, and then so we are going to use some heuristic information. And then we can also, when we consider the feasible load, we can have a table that means we can have a control about which load we can visit or which load we can't. We will have different update strategy. That means um, when we update the tau value, and then we are going to include some extra information that is about the elitism. Yeah, so that is the elitism we are going to implement. And um, so the first one, as I mentioned before, we have the transition probability with a different expression. And then this is the PIJ now. And the end colony optimization Awesome. We do not have this either. Now we are going to include that. So the formula itself, it looks very similar, but if you are going to remove this bit and then so we reduce it to the probability, transition probability we used before. So that means if J belongs to this, this feasible node, and then so we are going to compute the transition, transition probability using this bit. Otherwise, the transition probability will be zero. Yeah, and let's take a look at what eta it will be. Eta, that is, um, we call this is the a priori effectiveness. That means uh, we are going to use some local information, and then the one option that is given like this. Eta ij. That means when we consider. This is the I look, this is the J, and then in between we have the DIJ. Yeah, DIJ that is the local cost when an end use this, use this uh, edge. So one over DIJ that is the cost, that is the eta. So you can imagine that when DIJ that is large and then eta will be small because one divided by a larger value, if eta will be smaller compared with. A smaller dij because we do minimization problem so it makes sense to us yeah so that means this value will be will become larger when dij is smaller so we can amplify the tau value so alpha and beta so we they are some predefined constants which can give you some idea how to change the effect of each term yeah okay so Method two, that is something similar. We have the tau ij as well as eta. Instead of the multiplication right here, we are going to use the interpolation. So when we choose a constant alpha, and then this one that is one minus alpha, so we are going to interpolate between tau and eta. And then the denominator, that is the same. Yeah. So this is the probability. Once we define the probability, and then so we can come up with the accumulated transition probability, and then you, we can use the random number to determine which look we are going to choose. Now, um, the pheromone evaporation, that is the same. Yeah. So that means after we determine the path, and then we note the cost of each end, and before the update, of the tau ij t plus one, we are going to evaporate the tau ij at each edge. Yeah, so this is negative feedback, and then so there's nothing t new to us. To us, and then in the next update, that is the update of the pheromone concentration. Now this one that is the same as the simple end colony optimization because we do not implement elitism. But uh, I want to mention a few new things that is when we consider the end system and then so we have a number of options to consider the contribution made by each end yeah so we can use the end cycle this end cycle this option that is the same as oh as the delta used in the simple end colony optimization so we can choose the end density as well so that means 
when this ant use the edge ij we are going to add q to the tile yeah so q is a constant if the ant does not use this ij edge and then zero contribution will be made by that ant and quantity so we are going to use the local information as well the dij that is the thing i mentioned right here so this is the local cost when we use the edge i, I and j so q divided by dij so this value will become larger when dij is smaller yeah so because we do minimization and now this is if we are going to implement elitism and then that is the new component we are going to introduce to the update rule i'm going to introduce you a, you a few new notation or new symbols the first one x tilde that's what that one that is the current best path that means it at the generation t we have a number of n for example x1 x2 up to x n k t among this the best the best of this solution we call this is the x tilde t that is we just pick the best solution and then put it here so it is possible that uh, we have more than one ends using uh, which give you the same path that is the same best path for example x2 x3 and then it doesn't matter in that case we are going to count the number of elite n for example we use ne so that means how many ends they provide the same best path yeah there would be one possibility that uh, we have different path for example when we have uh, one two three that is the best path but there may be some other path one four three give you another the same another path but these two paths they have the same cost yeah so they have the same best and then so we will have two x tilde in this case yeah so this bit the delta that is contributed by the best ends only so with the best path we calculate f x tilde and then this delta that is for those edges used by the best end so that means we only have this component for those edges used by the best ends yeah okay so later on i'm going to show you an example to demonstrate how do we use this update rule okay uh, this is the scenario tau ij and then so we have the right hand side and now we have two ends assume that so we have two n that is n1 and n2 so when we talk about n1 because when we run the algorithm and then we have to find the complete path assume that the source node that is one the destination node that is five and then so we are going to use one four four three three five that is one four three five that is the solution the cost that is computed by d14 plus d34 plus d35 right here and then we do the same for n2 so using the transition probability and then so we come up with the d14235 this solution and then we can evaluate the cost of x2 that is d14 plus d24 plus d23 d35 that is given right here so because we only have two ends that means we are going to just pick one from these two guys to be the best assume that n1 that is the best path that is giving you the best solution so n1 will be the x tilde as well yeah so in that case for this example n e will be one and then delta tau i j e t would be this one q divided by d14 plus d34 plus d35 so 
sorry, three, five. And then this term only exists in H one, four, three, four, and three, five, because this is the path used by the best end. So we will have this blue term right here for the best end when we apply this update rule. Yeah. Okay. Now this is the pseudo code for the end system algorithm. And then um, so we can divide into a number of sections. The first one that is the initialization right here. We have to choose the alpha, beta, the row, q, and ij. And then so, so this information that is related to the application as well as related to the control parameters we are going to choose and then to set up the counter t that is zero that is to denote the generation number and we are going to employ nk number of and if we if we are going to have the source node as well as the destination node we are going to paste all the end in the original look right here and then now set up the stopping criteria and then for each end right here, we are going to find the solution. That means start from the source node, find find a complete path from the source node to the destination node, and then evaluate using the transition probability, and then remove all the loops, and finally find the cost of that end. Go back to the top until we reach the final end. So in this example, we have two ends. So this is the first path when we go through this step. And then so we have the second path when we go through this step twice. So nk right here, that would be two for this example. And then now what we are going to do that is to do the firm want evaporation corresponding to each tau value right here. Yeah, so each of them we are going to reduce it using this rule. After that, we are going to update tau ijt plus one, that is the positive feedback. So we have two versions. The first one that is we do not apply elitism. The second one that is we implement elitism. When we implement elitism, we have this term. That means up to this point, we are going to find out which one, which end is the best path. And then to denote the best path with the label X tilde T. And then so that's why right here, we are going to count the number of edit N as well as to add the contribution contributed by the elite end to those edges used by it. Yeah. Okay, so this is the update view. In the next example, I'm going to give you uh, some further example. How do we apply this elitism as well as how do we apply, how do we want this algorithm so that you come up with the value of tau ij. So instead of using the pseudo code, we can use the full chart right here. So it explains exactly the same as using the pseudo code. Yeah. 